Hi, it's Rev from Raz Above. Today we're going to be unboxing the Matrice 300 RTK drone along with the BS60 uh, charging station and the TB60 battery. Okay, so what we've noticed here is that we've got a DJI Vision System Calibration Panel. Alright, let's go ahead and open up this box. There it is. Alright, cool. So, um, as you can obviously see, we've got the drone here, the M300 RTK drone. We've got the um, Enterprise Smart Controller sitting right here. A little bit of desiccant. Um, the landing gear, the landing legs sit on the top of the case. Um, we've got some extra propellers in these bags as well. Some vibration dampeners. Uh, DJI has provided us with some tools and a USB-C cable. Okay, um, we'll take out the DJI Enterprise Smart Controller first. Just put that on the side. And now we'll take out the drone. It's a big boy. All right. I'll set this up here. Should probably get the landing legs out now. Side. And there's the other one. Just a little bit of documentation. We'll just put that on the side here. Do we have anything else? Vibration dampeners, a USB C cable, a couple of tools and screws, spare propellers, the USB C charging adapters. So we've got quite a few plugs here for different regions across the globe. A WB37 battery. It's another adapter, I believe. And we've got a USB-A to a USB-A cable for firmware updates, I believe. Um, and I believe that should be everything in the box. All right, let's start putting this thing together. Take these, that bubble wrap off. Let's just unfold these propellers and arms. Alright. Right. Okay, so I think the first thing you'd probably notice is that the propellers are on the underside of the motors. Uh, this is a bit unusual for DJI, I believe. So this is the back side of the drone and this is the front side of the drone. Just at a glance, it's a little bit bigger than the DJI Matrice 200 series. All right, so we've got two RTK um, antennas at the back of the drone here. Uh, we've got two GPS antennas up the front. Um, we've got vision sensors and infrared sensors on both sides of the drone. Um, vision sensors at the back, infrared sensor at the back as well. Same deal up the front. Uh, we've got two vision sensors and two infrared sensors, in addition to the FPV camera, um, and a single gimbal port down the bottom here. Now you can get a dual downward gimbal port if required, in addition to a top mounted gimbal uh, port if desired to have three cameras mounted, or just even a top mounted camera for bridge inspection work and such. Um, the drone also has a strobe light to the top here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera there. Um, We've got these ports here. Now, I believe one of, the one on the left is for PSDK and uh, the one on the right is OSDK. And we've got a strobe light at the bottom as well, same as the top. Um, spot light at the bottom, same as the top as well. I should have mentioned that there. Um, we've got two vision sensors down facing in addition to two infrared sensors as well. As you can see here, to the side of the drone, this gaping hole on the side here and on the other side for the batteries. Um, the batteries in this drone are quite huge um, and we'll take that, those out of the box and put them into the drone very soon for you as well. Uh, one thing to note, the drone actually doesn't come packaged in with the TB60 batteries. Uh, we generally have to supply these separately. So, so here's the TB60 batteries. Um, the drone takes 
two batteries, so it's uh, one set consists of two batteries. Um, DJI advertises as these batteries being able to provide the drone 55 minutes of flight time. Um, obviously that will vary depending on your wind conditions and what payload has been attached to the drone. Um, the drone is rated to carry a maximum of 2.7 kilograms. Let's take out these rubber covers first before inserting the batteries. Important thing to note is that these batteries are actually hot swappable. Um, you can take out these batteries one at a time when you're swapping them in field. Well, now that we've unboxed the drone, let's move on to the battery station. All right, so here we've got the BS60 Intelligent battery station. It's good to see that DJ provides the battery station in a wheeled hard case as well. Let's get this bad boy open. Right, looks like we've got a whole bunch of power cables here. I believe this is due to the fact that we've got a universal edition. Just some DJI documentation, and we've got ports for up to eight TB60 batteries in here. Um, it'll also support WB37 batteries, up to four WB37 batteries. Each individual battery bay here has a specific LED status indicator for it, um, both for the WB37 battery bays here and for the TB60 uh, batteries as well. And DJI has provided a chart here of what each individual LED status indicates. Um, so if you've got flashing green, that means that it is in the process of charging. Um, if it's a solid green light, that means the charge has been completed. If you've got a flashing yellow light, then that means that the battery is either warming up or cooling down. Um, and if it's a solid uh, yellow light, that means it's waiting for charge. Um, if you've got a flashing uh, red light, that means you've received a communication warning. Um, if it's a solid red light, then that means it's a battery error. Um, there also appears to be a warning LED. Um, DJI has also provided a key for what that would represent. If you've got a flashing yellow uh, warning LED, then that means the battery station is updating. Um, if it's just a, just a solid yellow light, then that means the supply voltage is too low. Um, if you've got a red warning light that's flashing, that means the battery station error. Seems to be something quite interesting here. Uh, well, I don't really know what you call this. It appears to be some sort of air blower, duster of some nature. I suppose it's nice to have. All right, thank you guys. I believe that's everything. Um, if you have any further questions regarding the Matrice 300 RTK drone, please feel free to give us a call on 024647 3450. I'd also like to mention that we're going to be doing a uh, flood test for the Matrice 300 RTK drone. Um, hopefully that will give us an opportunity to answer some of the questions you might have regarding the um, M300 RDK system.